Here are the best things you can do in Paris. We're starting off with the most popular landmark in Paris, which is the Eiffel Tower. This tower was built in 1887 for the World Fair and was planned to be demolished right after. You can go up to three different floors and the best time to go to the top is around sunset when you can see Paris during the day, at sunset, and at night. One of the most romantic things to do in Paris is to have a picnic in front of the Eiffel Tower. Pick up some wine, baguettes, cheese, and any other food you want to eat and just set up and have a nice picnic. The Louvre is the world's most visited museum and one of the most popular things to do in Paris. There are many famous works at the museum, but the most famous one is the Mona Lisa. You can spend as much time as you want here because this museum is so big and has so many exhibits. Las du Falafel is a famous falafel place in Paris, and the falafels are really delicious. Just be ready to wait in really long lines. The oldest bridge across the Seine in Paris is Pont Neuf. It's located centrally in Paris, and you can just chill here and watch the boats over the river. This bridge also goes to Seat Island, which is where Notre Dame is located. Many of you already know this church burnt down in 2019, and at the time of recording, it's still closed for repairs. The mayor of Paris said that the church will be open again in time for the Summer Olympics in 2024. Montmartre is the nicest area in Paris to walk around. It's an area on top of a hill with beautiful cobblestone streets, and Place de Tetre has a bunch of nice looking restaurants and it's where artists paint tourists as well. In Montmartre is Sacre Coeur. You can go inside the church for free, but you have to pay to go to the top of the dome. You get some nice views of the Eiffel Tower from here as well. Just beside Abbesse's metro station is the Wall of Love. This wall has I love you written in so many languages. Staying in Montmartre, we also have Le Maison Rose. This is a very photogenic cafe on the nice streets. Breige Cafe has some of the best crepes in the world capital of crepes. You can choose from either sweet or savory crepes, and they definitely taste amazing. Champs-Élysées is the most famous street in Paris and known as the world's most beautiful avenue. This street has so many bougie stores and is actually being renovated to have a bunch of greenery as well. It's a 1.9 kilometer street that starts at Place de la Concorde and ends at the Arc de Triomphe. This is the next spot. It's the center of a bunch of Paris streets and in the middle of a giant roundabout. You can go to the top of the Arc and get a great view of all the connecting streets and the Eiffel Tower. Also on the Champs-Élysées is a famous macaroon shop called La Durée. This interior is really beautiful and the macaroons are delicious. I recommend trying some of the fruity flavors which tasted better in my opinion. Just under an hour by train, you can get to Versailles. The Palace of Versailles is one of the biggest in the world, with so many rooms in it and the gardens are huge outside as well. It was difficult to get water to flow to all the fountains, so the people working there would only turn them on when the king went on his walks to give the illusion that they were on all the time. Dupin et Décidé is a famous bakery in Paris. It's known for its escargot pastry, which we ended up trying, and it tastes amazing. This bakery is in Canal Saint-Martin, which is the next spot. This is more of an area where locals hang out and is much more chill and less busy than the rest of Paris. There's a nice canal that runs through this area, which gives it the name. There's nothing better than enjoying a light, flaky, buttery croissant in the capital of France. Canal Saint-Martin is home to our favorite croissant bakery called Saint Boulangerie. Make sure to get at least two croissants because you're definitely going to come back here. What makes your croissant experience even more enjoyable is sitting at a beautiful Parisian cafe, watching time go by with some more pastries and a coffee. This is a great way to experience the traditional Parisian lifestyle. Châtelet is a great area to find some cafes. This area is filled with beautiful cafes all over the cobblestone streets. This area is also home to the Pompidou, which is the famous inside-out building in Paris. Jardin de Tuileries is a charming park just outside of the Louvre. This is a great place to walk or bike to just chill and enjoy the stunning flowers and plants scattered all over the garden. If you want to go to an elegant Parisian restaurant but are on a budget, Boulogne Chartier is the place to go. This restaurant has one of the most beautiful interiors in Paris and is definitely worth trying. The food quality is pretty average, probably because of the cheap prices, but wines are cheap here and the escargot is amazing. If you go across the Pont d'Iena on the other side of the Eiffel Tower, you get stunning views of the tower. The best is coming at night here to watch the lights sparkle to get the best pictures of the tower. Just past the bridge is Trocadero Square. This is a famous spot for getting great Paris photos. 
Unfortunately, when we were there, it was under construction, so we couldn't get those photos. But there are also street performers here at night, and they make for a great night out. Another way to spend your night is at La Vromatique. The entrance to this bar is a laundromat, and you enter through the laundry machine. It's pretty small on the inside, but the seats are really nice, and the drinks are great too. Arguably, the most beautiful mall in the world is Galleries Lafayette. This mall has over six floors, and you can look out onto the mall from each floor. There's also a rooftop which has amazing views of the Eiffel Tower and the rest of Paris. This is definitely a must visit in Paris. Since the city has amazing sights all around, walking everywhere would take too long. Biking around the city is one of the best ways to get around. Paris has city bikes called Valib and you can rent these for 5 euros per day, but you need to make sure to return them every 30 minutes to any bike station. There are bike stations all around the city, so this was never an issue for us. Biking lets you go around all the little streets faster so you can see all of Paris. Lastly, you have Shakespeare & Co. This is a small little English bookshop in the Latin Quarter. On the second floor, there are a bunch of antique books and there's also a cat who lives here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more and comment any spots I missed that you like. I'll see you in the next one.